Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of geography, we shall discuss the path two of Indian rivers. So moving on, in the first part, we have discussed about the Himalayan rivers, which are perennial in nature. They flow throughout the year. That is the Indus, Brahmaputra and the Ganges. Now we shall see the peninsula rivers, which doesn't flow throughout the year. Right now we shall, in the part two, we shall see the east flowing rivers, which flow from west to east, right? towards the Bay of Bengal, right? So first is the Godavari, the second largest river after Ganga in India, right? The first largest river is Ganga, then Godavari, then Krishna, then Narmada. Narmada is flowing towards west, okay? The Godavari and Krishna flow towards east, towards the west Bay of Bengal, right? So first is the Godavari, the second largest river in India after the Ganges, right? So first is the names of the Ganges. The other names are Dakshin Ganga or Vridha Ganga. The other names of the Godavari are sorry, the other names of the Godavari are Dakshin Ganga or the Vridha Ganga. Particularly Vridha Ganga people of Maharashtra call it. Right? The origin or source of the Godavari is the Brahmagiri mountain at Triambakeshwar. Right? At Triambakeshwar in Nasik of Maharashtra. Okay. Moving on to the direction from west to east, countries covered India, states covered is Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka uh, and uh, Yanam of uh, Puducherry one union territory is also covered in this, right? Or some parts of Odisha, Undravati comes from Odisha only, Chhattisgarh, okay? All these states are covered and mouth or destination is at Antarvedi in East Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. The Godavari will drain into the Bay of Bengal, right? And the length of the Godavari is around 1465 kilometers, that is 1465 kilometers of total length from west to east direction. Moving on to the tributaries of Godavari, we have on the left bank, we have Varda, Ven Ganga, and Pen Ganga. Okay, Varda, Ven Ganga, and Pen Ganga. They generally originate from Maharashtra and they move as one that is called Pranahita. This is also a Triveni Sangamam of Godavari. Varda, Venganga and Penganga, they will confluence and move as Pranahita. In Karimnagar district of Telangana, they will meet at one place and they move as Pranahita. This is a Triveni Sangamam of Godavari. And we have Purna, Kadam, Banganga. Indravati, Taliperu, Shabari, all these are the left bank tributaries of Godavari. And the right bank tributaries of Godavari are Manjira. Manjira is the longest tributary of the Godavari. It comes from Karnataka. Okay. And Pravara, Maner, Kinnarasani, all these are very famous right bank tributaries of Godavari. Moving on to important places of interest along the course of Godavari. So first is the important cities covered are Nasik, Nanded, Ramagundam, Rajamandri and Badrachalam. Right? And uh, we have Triambakeshwar. It is one of the 12 Jyotir Lingas dedicated to Lord Shiva. Right? And Basara Sri Gnanasharaswati temple in Telangana. Badrachalam temple in Telangana dedicated to Lord Rama. These are very important sites. And next, Papi Kondalu, Papi Hills it is a very beautiful uh, place in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, the river Godavari runs through various mountains and the valleys of mountains. Okay, and uh, Aruku Valley, which is very famous in Andhra Pradesh for uh, going coffee and for a very scenic site in Andhra Pradesh. And Lambasingi Hill Station, it is uh, a very famous snowfall station in Vishakapatnam district. And the Koringa Mangroves of Andhra Pradesh. Is also famous the second longest mangrove formation after the Sundarbans and the Jaikwadi Dam in Maharashtra, Babli project in Maharashtra, Nizam Sagar project on Manjira in Telangana, Sriram Sagar project in Telangana, Chitrakut waterfalls in Odisha, and Kuntala waterfalls in Telangana. These are the very important places of interest on the course of the Godavari. So this is about Godavari. Next we will move to the third longest river after Ganga Godavari. The third longest is Krishna. The other names of Krishna are Krishnaveni or Krishna, 
the origin is near mahabaleshwar in maharashtra country is covered is india the destination or mouth is at hamsala devi in krishna district of andhra pradesh take all of them as a table so that it will be very useful to study okay the states covered are maharashtra as it originated in maharashtra then telangana karnataka andhra pradesh these are the major states covered and length is around 1300 kilometers and the direction is from west to east it flows towards bay of bengal right next tributaries the left bank tributaries of uh, krishna are bhima dindi halia musi paleru and munneru okay musi has become the drainage of hyderabad like yamuna of delhi musi is also become the drainage line of hyderabad right we must protect the rivers okay next is right bank tributaries tungabhadra is the longest tributary of the krishna it originates from karnataka the famous dam almatti dam is on tungabhadra river only okay and koina panchaganga ghataprabha malaprabha dudaganga all these are right bank tributaries of krishna an important place of interest we have koina dam in maharashtra on koina river which is a tributary of krishna almatti dam on tungabhadra river nagarjun sagar dam in telangana shri shailam dam in andhra pradesh very important projects and next wildlife we have great indian bird sanctuary in maharashtra kudermuk uh, national park in karnataka daroji sloth bear sanctuary in karnataka nagarjun sisalam tiger reserve it is partly in telangana and it is partly in andhra pradesh also okay next is the third uh, peninsula river is the penna it is also called the pennar or pinakini the origin or source of penna river is nandi hills in karnataka indian it is flows to entirely in india it flows from west to east and direction is west to east and states covered is karnataka and andhra pradesh okay and mouth or destination is bay of bengal at nellore it will meet the bay of bengal in andhra pradesh and the length is around 597 kilometers the important tributaries are jayamangali kunderu sagileru all these are left bank tributaries and the right bank tributaries are Chit chitravati papagni cheyeru all these are right bank tributaries important places of interest are gandikota fort andhra pradesh and bilam caves a very beautiful place gandikota fort the, uh, there are large mountains and river will be very small but there are the flow it will be flowing through the valleys of these two mountains gandikota fort okay bilam caves in andhra pradesh okay so this is about the penna river the next is the kaveri river the very disputed river nowadays right so origin is at talakaveri in kodagu district of karnataka of western ghats it will orig originate and it will move towards tamil nadu so states covered are karnataka and tamil nadu west to east is the direction and countries covered is india only mouth or destination is it will reach the bay of bengal at a place called pumpuhar in tamil nadu so karnataka and tamil nadu are the two states so length is 765 kilometers so tributaries are hemavati shimsha arkavati on the left side on the right side we have kabini bhavani no noyal amravati all these are the tributaries of right bank tributaries of the kaveri river an important place of interest are shivana samudra falls karnataka ranganti to bird sanctuary karnataka hoganakkal falls tamil nadu and uh, metur dam tamil nadu all these are important places of interest on the kaveri river and some more peninsula rivers we have subarna reka river actually peninsula rivers if you want to arrange them in north to south first it is subarna reka river next baitarani then brahmani then mahanadi river mahanadi river is also famous okay it starts from bastar district in chatisgarh and flows through odisha the famous dam is hirakud dam on mahanadi river it is very famous mahanadi dam uh, hirakud dam is very famous on mahanadi river right so first subarna reka baitarani brahmani mahanadi godavari krishna penna kaveri so this is the order from north to south remember sometimes there may be a question okay so this is all for this session in the part 2 of rivers of india which are east flowing rivers we'll meet in the next sessions thank you